Okay. Uh, this morning I'm going to be talking on the topic of forgiveness, and uh, this is a really important topic, and I'm just going to ask that you really pay attention and take to heart what I have to say so that uh, when we're done, when we're all done with all of our topics and we've all preached, you'll forgive me for not listening to your guys'. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. When I was a child, I learned really early on that how important forgiveness is to restoring relationships with people. Uh, when I was about 12 years old, me and my father and my two brothers went to go hitting, hitting baseballs at uh, Juanita Beach. And, um, you know, it's something that you have to know about me. I'm really not into the whole baseball thing. I kind of just wanted to go to hang out with my family. And so we get there and, you know, we go through it a couple times and it's been like 20 minutes and I'm bored. I'm ready to leave. You know, this is, I'm like, I'm done. I want to go home. And so I'm like, dad, can we go? Dad? Dad, can we can we leave? I'm I'm bored. Dad, Dad, can we please go? If I use please, you have to say yes. That's how it works. Uh, but he was unwilling to go, so I decided to change up my strategy after 20 minutes of that. And I decided to go for it like this. Dad, 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 can we, Dad, can we go? Dad, this worked. After about five minutes of saying, Dad, Dad, he finally turns to me and he says, Fine! We're leaving! Pick up your stuff! Let's go! <laughs> Success. I won. <laughs> We're leaving. So I grab all my stuff. I'm already ready. I got all my stuff. I book it to the car. I'm the first one there. My dad's right behind me. He's just pissed off. I'm happy as a clam. We're leaving. <laughs> my brothers, they're taking a long time back there. We put all this stuff in the car, and we're sitting in there, and they're taking a long time, and I'm like, Dad, we need to go. I've got important 12-year-old stuff to do. Can we go home now? And he, I was just trying to get him to like make them hurry up, but uh, he decided, all right, fine, let's go. Turns the key on. We start to go, and I'm just like, good one. <laughs> Not leaving Abe and Alex. You forgot my brothers. <laughs> you forgot them. You drove out the parking lot. Are we really leaving them? All right. So I'm starting to feel worse and worse. Like he's just making me feel bad. And about two miles down the road, he sees this man walking by and he says, hey Josh, see that man right there? He's probably gonna go and kidnap your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is an expert for attack, I'm telling you. So I'm feeling horrible. At this point, I'm like, no, we need to stop. We need to go back. I'm trying to convince him to turn around. He's not going to turn around. He's going to take me home. I was like, that's it. Stop the car. So he stopped. I got out. I was starting to walk back towards where they were because I was going to walk with them home. I saw him turn around. He went and picked them up and then <laughs> on the way back passed me and left me walking home. I love it. Mm -hmm. At this point, when I saw him drive by, I was like, wow. My dad is a jerk. He's just a big jerk. Like, what a jerk. My vocabulary developed way later in life. So as I'm walking home, I'm ruminating on this. Ruminating vocabulary later on. So I'm ruminating on this, and I'm thinking about it, just how big of a jerk he was, like how mean he was. When I get home, I'm just upset. And my mom comes to me, and she's, she found out what happened, and she says, Josh, I need you to go and talk to your dad. I need you to go and talk this over. You guys need to fix this. You need to figure out what happened and how you can get better. So I went, we sat down, we kind of sat down across from each other. I was kind of like, you know, I didn't want to be there. It was awkward. I didn't feel like apologizing. He was being a jerk, just a big jerk. And you know, he didn't, he wasn't really too receptive to it too. After a while of that, we just, we started talking about it. We just worked through it a little bit. We just recognized that we had hurt each other, that I had annoyed him, that I had pushed him to that point, that he had hurt me from what he said and leaving my brothers, things like that. And we just, we humbled ourselves and we apologized to each other. We forgave each other and our relationship was restored. I learned that this is really important, especially in our relationship with God. Because we do things that breaks our relationship with God. And in order for us to be restored to that, we need to have forgiveness. We need to receive that forgiveness. 
Donald Miller, the author of Blue Like Jazz, says that forgiveness is bearing with the scars inflicted by another person, yet continuing to work with that person to move past it. Hmm. It's not ignoring that you have that hurt and that pain, but it's choosing to move past it. We all have a need for a restored relationship to God. We all sin. We all screw up. We all break that relationship. And so it's important that we do that. We all need forgiveness. When we sin, we separate ourselves from God. Adam and Eve in the garden, they were in God's presence. They were with him always. They talked to him face to face. They had the unique privilege that very few humans after that have had. Yet, they still sin. They ate from the fruit. And because of that, they had to be removed from God's presence. They were covered in shame. It says that they were naked. They were ashamed of each other. They were ashamed of God. They hid from God's presence. There's no more relationship there. But God did not forget them. It says in the text that he made skins to cover their shame. Even though we fail, God is still faithful to us. He will not forget us. This situation is not unique to Adam and Eve, however. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I did a Greek word study of this text. I found something surprising about the word all. In the Greek, the word that they use is all. All of us sin. Every single one. If you think that this doesn't apply to you, you're wrong. Because we all sin. We are all responsible for our separation from God. Mm -hmm. Sin is a a willful act of disobedience to God and his intended purposes. This is the problem of sin, that we separate ourselves from God. With every single sin that we commit, we pull ourselves just a little bit further away from God and his intended purpose for our life. Although we pull ourselves away from God, he is gracious and has provided a way back to us. To him. Even though we fail, God is faithful to us. Jesus is our way back to the Father through the forgiveness that he gives. God knew that he had to find a way for us to return to relationship with him. He knew that right when Adam and Eve sinned. He knew that. He knew that we would continue to break relationship with him, to break that bond that is supposed to encapsulate our relationship. So he decided to work that through Israel, through Abraham first, and continue that work through Jesus Christ. A lot of people have trouble with this, saying, you know what, why is it that I have to come through Jesus? Why why shouldn't I be able to go my own way? God is the God of the universe. He created everything. He is the eternal judge. He gets to choose the means by which we come to him. Just like the engineers and the city planners who decided that we're going to take a bridge to Mercer Island, and that's the way, the main way, It's the same with God. He gets to choose the way. He gets to choose the bridge that we cross, and that bridge is Jesus. Psalms 2.6 says, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy hill. God has chosen Jesus to be that salvation for us, to be that restored forgiveness to God. Jesus fulfills all that he said, all that God said he would do. Acts 10.43 says, All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Everything that God promised through the prophets, everything that he promised to Abraham, everything that he promised to all of Israel is fulfilled through Jesus. Abraham was promised that he would be a blessing to all nations. And that is fulfilled through the work of Jesus Christ, where we all may have forgiveness of sins and salvation back to the Father. Jesus is the enactor of our forgiveness from God. We just need to call on his name. Because Jesus has given us the forgiveness that we need to restore relationship to the Father. Mm 